What's going on, people? Today, I will be reviewing 2018's Halloween, coming up for you guys next. So 2018's Halloween is directed by Seth Gordon Green, and it stars Andy Medichek. I just wanted to get that name out of the way because I could never remember it. <laughs> And it stars Jamie Lee Curtis and uh, Judy Greer. And this is interesting because all of the Halloween sequels have been thrown out the window. And this is a direct sequel to the original Halloween. And I don't mind them taking away all of the other sequels other than Halloween 2. I like Halloween 2 a lot, actually. And... We'll talk about it, but I feel like they should have left that one in, still in continuity. And Laurie Strode here is a hardened and grizzled woman that is very much still shaken to the core by what had happened to her uh, 40 years ago. She is pretty much a shut-in, and uh, she's booby-trapped her house. This thing is armed up to the nines. She has shotguns. She has, like, bear traps she has a um a a cellar that is pretty much kept to uh pretty much like like to be like a bunker laurie has issues she's drunk she is completely paranoid and she cannot get over what had happened to her 40 years ago and she is prepared to uh, fight back in case it happens, which she definitely thinks it will at one point in time. This movie was a mixed bag for me, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but none of that has to do with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's depiction of Laurie Strode. I have always liked Jamie Lee Curtis in her roles, and she is no better than uh, she is here. This is a hardened grizzled woman that is a pistol packing mama and that is exactly how uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis pulls this off here. I would really take this to be like a character like uh, uh, Sarah Connor was in the second Terminator. I mean she is pretty jacked in this movie. She actually worked out for it. She's got a little bit of muscles and uh, man she is just really committed to this role and i love how damaged her life is because of all of this you know she has a daughter played by judy greer and uh they just don't have a relationship how can you have a relationship with a woman like she is you know it's almost impossible she's constantly uh ranting and raving about something and uh, on top of that she gets drunk sometimes and uh just goes on rampages and rants about things. You know, it's impossible to have a relationship with Laurie Strode, and um, her daughter is right for not really wanting one with her. But Allison, who is played by Andy Medichek, is Judy Grizz's daughter, and she has more of a relationship with uh, Laurie, actually. And I, I will say that this is uh, my first of, of many gripes with this movie. Um... They want to make uh, Allison a lot like Laurie. They want to make her the new Laurie, but they don't give her the moments she needs to become the new Laurie. And I see little tidbits of things that uh, are put here to make her a, a strong character the way that Laurie Strode is. But nothing here really demonstrates that to its fullest. And even though I do like Jamie Lee Curtis in this role of Laurie Strode here, in this depiction, I feel like Allison kind of takes a back seat here when she shouldn't. She should be in the forefront, and uh, Laurie Strode should be a little bit more of a secondary character, just because you want to set up Allison to be the new Laurie Strode. And I do feel like this actress could pull this off. She's actually pretty damn good in this movie. 
And of course, you know that Michael Myers has to bust out of prison like he, you know he's going to do. And it is done in a very interesting way that I don't, uh, I, I won't spoil for you guys. But I, I, I really um, think that they wanted to make this a, a, a more vicious Michael. That would just kill innocents and really uh, have some hard-hitting scenes that really want to impact its audience and, and shock its audience, which is fine. And I do like, yeah, I do like being shocked, and I do kind of like a lot some of these uh, shocking moments. But I just want to talk about the tone of this movie, and the tone actually feels a lot like the first Halloween and it is shot a lot like the first Halloween even the uh the costume design not the costume design but the clothing designs and what the people wear in the movie is meant to uh look very 70s actually even though it's supposed to take place today so if you are going to constantly remind me of John Carpenter's Halloween you shouldn't be trying to shock me the way that this movie does because, um, yeah, that's not what John Carpenter did. And I feel like that's where the identity crisis happens with this movie. I, I feel like, um, you know, they want this movie to only look like the first Halloween, but really uh, not have the spirit of the first Halloween. You know, they want it to have a meaner spirit at its core. Will Patton plays Officer Hawkins, and uh, <laughs> this guy, man, I, I, I feel like almost all of the men in this movie, including Judy Greer's husband, are just uh, real buffoons. They are just played to be buffoons, and... Um, they are uh, just not likable characters. I feel like they just come across as idiots. Much like how the stereotypical woman comes into a horror movie and um, runs to the upstairs and traps herself in a closet where the uh, killer can just go up to them and stab them and trap them in there. Um, yeah, that is the men in this movie. I feel like they are morons. And this Officer Hawkins is the head police detective on the case. And he really shouldn't be because he's an idiot. He has multiple chances to take out Michael in this movie. And he never pulls it off. Not even close. And there is something that happens between him and Michael at the end towards the end of the movie that I, I just cannot abide by and I feel like it is a very clumsy and uh, awkwardly inserted scene in this movie. A lot of comedy is inserted in here and some of it is funny but a lot of it especially in between the um, the policemen in this film are very awkwardly inserted and it drew me out of it each time. And uh, I feel like it was very reminiscent of, uh, I think it's, yeah, yeah, I think it's Halloween 5 where they have the cops that every single time that the cops come into the scene, it's just like, it's just like goofy noises that they have in the background. And I just feel like, um, yeah, this felt like that. But David Gordon Green, the director here, has a lot of control of uh, the atmosphere of this movie and the camera of this movie. And he does seem to have a lot of control over this film in general. So a lot of my complaints here, they're intentional. It's not like they are unintentional things that happened. He wanted to do these things, and I do feel like this is a, a real strong director behind the camera here that just made some bad decisions along the way. For instance, like the choice to ignore Halloween 2, where uh, you find out that uh, Michael Myers is actually Laurie Strode's brother. And they are siblings. Yeah, they kind of want to reference that in this movie. But they kind of don't. And they want to ignore it. I got the sense that Michael wanted a connection with Laurie in that first film. And so when you find out that they are siblings, that makes a whole lot of sense. 
And that gives Michael a reason for uh, uh, hunting down Laurie specifically. Um, in this movie, they want to ignore that. So why is he hunting her now? And even when um, they meet in this movie, they kind of want to go there, but they kind of don't. And I was confused. At the end of the day, I did like this movie, but it was very mixed for me. I, I am not as positive as some people are with this movie. I do feel like it is one of the better sequels. And a matter of fact, I'll even go out to say that I do like uh, Halloween 2 better than this movie. But all of the other ones are worse than this. I, I would put this in third place. And I, I do feel like I it will be going back to this. But un unfortunately, I just had some problems with uh, pacing in this movie and I did have some problems with the choices that they made a lot of which I can't share with you guys because it is spoiler heavy but yeah um, I'll give this a uh, 6 out of 10 the performances in this movie are great and the relationships are awesome and that is why I'm actually rating this what I am but they could have done better with just uh, really giving us a, a new Laurie Strode, which I thought that they were going to do here. So, you guys know that I do have to talk about Evil Dead. That's going to be coming up really soon. And then, Ant-Man and the Wasp just came out. I did watch it last night, and I'll be reviewing that as well. So, subscribe so you know when all those videos come out. You guys are awesome, and you know it. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see all of you next time.